Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 future cast. Today's going to be a pretty good day. Take advantage of it because tomorrow won't be quite as nice, but not going to be a bad day. Let's take a look at what is happening. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. No rain out there at the moment. We had some showers pass on by, especially across Cape Cod earlier in the morning. They're gone. Threat tracker for today. Low chance of severe weather. Same for tonight and same for Sunday. Actually fairly quiet for the next few days. Live pictures from North Kingstown. Still have a a little sliver of orange there in the sky, but still lots of clouds overhead. We're going to be seeing the clouds thin out as we go through the day. Temperature of 52 currently in North Kingstown. Here is Providence. You can see the sun is now up over the clouds. Temperature of 51 with a wind from the south at about five miles an hour. 48 degrees currently in the city by the sea. Down in Newport, they have a blend of sunshine and clouds as well. We have a front offshore with some little batches of precipitation riding along it. Most of it is off to our east now and staying away. Our next weather maker after today is this area of low pressure and a cold front that's only going to be slowly working its way into the northeast over the next 24 hours. The end result will be some rain showers around during the daytime tomorrow. I'll show you that in a second. Forecast for today, some low clouds, a little touch of fog perhaps at the coast this morning, and then we are looking at a good deal of sunshine for the afternoon. Might find some lingering uh, patches of clouds and some fog at the south coast as we go through the uh, daytime today. Now this evening, you'll start off uh, quiet, but we'll notice some extra clouds arriving, a little touch of fog perhaps uh, during the evening hours. Here we are tomorrow morning about 830. Notice some rain showers around that frontal system, which is currently out across the Great Lakes, will be working its way towards southern New England and helping to spark a few rain showers. And notice as we go through the daytime tomorrow, some occasional showers. We are not looking at a washout for Sunday, but there will be some rain showers around and it will be noticeably cooler for Sunday as well. For this morning, we are looking at temperatures to be topping out or climbing in through the 50s, getting into the mid 60s around noontime. Let's pinpoint the afternoon because there will be a lot of uh, uh, variability in terms of temperatures uh, around the area. Along the south coast with a wind off the water, we're looking at temperatures in the low to mid 60s. 64 in Westerly, out on Block Island, 60, Narragansett, 62, New Newport about 63 degrees with partly sunny skies. A touch of fog just offshore in the afternoon inland. Look at this 70 degrees in Johnston, Woonsocket, Providence, West Warwick about 69. Over in Cranston and Warwick close to 70, 68 degrees over in Bristol today. And up in Attleboro about 71, Taunton 71, Freetown 70, low to mid 60s along the south coast or south shore of Massachusetts. Here's that live pinpoint Doppler 12. Seven day future cast. Now the second half of the weekend, we're looking okay. Now they're going, there's going to be a few showers around for the Imagine Walk for Autism at Goddard State Park. Uh, registration begins around 9 a.m. There'll be a couple of showers here and there. We're not looking at a washout, but not a bad idea to kind of bring the poncho just in case. On Monday, we're looking at lots of clouds. Could be a stray shower and much cooler, about 52 degrees. That's only a temporary thing. Look at the week next week. Temperatures on Tuesday close to 70. On Wednesday and Thursday around 80 degrees with sunshine. Summertime's coming next week. Friday, a little bit cooler, but still very nice. 75 degrees with a blend of sunshine and clouds. So a couple of ups and downs for the next couple of days. And then summertime's here. Light at the end of the tunnel. Right. Thanks, TJ. Covering New England this morning.